In this video, I'll be making a backer for an eight and a half inch flower and a 3D half backer. This 3D half backer is slightly different than the previous ones I've done. So here is the backer I'm using. It's about eight inches. It's just a ribbon spool end and that's the flower. Now I've cut these ribbons at six inches long. This is a three and a half inch width honeycomb holographic gold ribbon. And I'm doing groups of four with these loops. And I'm layering several ribbons to make each loop. The colors are scarlet and gold and white. This glitter ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. And the other ribbons that I'm using are either acetate or luster ribbons, this honeycomb, and also a sparkling ribbon. So you get all of those from a mum supply store like I use all American balloon but you can use any one you want uh, some of these I actually get from Amazon as well so I'm layering these this is a two and a half inch width white and then a seven eighths inch and then the honeycomb which is a little over three inches so it it goes over the white ribbon but that's okay I wanted to be able to see the colors underneath that I'm going to quickly make four of these. This will be my first layer of loops. Now for the sparkling and then this glitter ribbon. You can layer these however you want. I'm just, I've got it offset to one side. You could do it in the center or you can do it diagonally like I did the previous one, however you want to do it. So I'm making four of these as well. Now what I'm doing is I'm just laying them on the backer and then putting the flower down to see how far off the backer I want to attach these loops. You don't want to attach them too far off and then you don't want to attach them too far in where you can't see them once you attach the flower. Now I always go, when I have four loops, I always go north, south, east, and west, or you can think of a plus sign either way. That's just, it works for me, and that way I know I'm putting them on evenly, and then I start building from there. And you can use scissors or a ruler, or if you have a mat like this, you can use it to, to make sure that you're getting the second one straight across from the other one, or from the first one, and that you're getting it on there evenly and straight as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but we want to be pretty close. I'm going to attach the other two very quickly. You want, like I said, you want them evenly spaced and then you want them on the backer the same distance or same diameter. Now for the second layer and I'm going just right between the gaps of the first loops. So it's a lot easier to attach the next set of loops because all you have to do is evenly place them in between the other ones. Now you can you can attach these where the diameter is the same as the first four loops or you can go in on the backer further further in so they set in a little bit more but again you want to look at your flower and see how much space you have. You don't want to go too far in if it, they're going to get covered up. Okay, now that I've got those, I'm going to move on to the next layer. And I constantly put my flower on my backer just to see how it's looking and see what else it needs. So this is a one and a half inch wired ribbon. I'm removing the wires. It's like a metallic sheer ribbon. I got that from Sam's Club during Christmas. And then this is just a like a luster or acetate, a floral ribbon, whatever you use. It's a 1 and 1.3 inch and then again the 7 8 inch and then I'm putting that one and a half inch sheer on top of it. So you can still see the colors underneath it but it's got like a gold metallic sheen to it now. So again I'm making four of those. So as I make more loops I'm making them smaller and smaller. You don't have to do that. You could still do you could do another layer of wide loops if you want. This is just the look I'm going for. It gets more difficult too to get your stapler in there the more loops you add. So again these are going around evenly, four of them around the, the mom head or on the backer. 
and I just keep again I just keep adding that flower to see how it's looking this is diamond dust ribbon 7 8 inch again these are all being cut at 6 inches long cut four of those and again with the white the 1.3 inch just layering simple layering the gold on top of there and making some simple loops Again, you want to make four of those and then I will fill those in in the gaps where from the first ones because you're going to have eight spots between each of those wide loops. And you could do eight of the same loops that I did four and four. Again, I'm adding my flower to see how it's looking. And you could you could stop there. I want to keep adding some more layers. This is a two and a half inch gold, and I'm doing I cut it at three inches long. The reason for that is when you take a six inch ribbon and you fold it and, or you know make a loop out of it, which is basically folding it in half without creasing it, it is now three inches long. So I'm making some little ribbon ribbon spikes to attach. So you only want to cut those at three inches long, so they'll be the same length. I cut a V shape or a dovetail. Now I'm just hot gluing these on. Like I said, it gets harder and harder to get in there with a the stapler. And you're at more risk for uh, creasing those ribbons when you staple or creasing those loops. You don't want to do that, so try to be as careful as you can. So if there's some things I can glue on there, I will glue them on there. Especially when you build in like that. Loops, for some reason, I think they look better if they're stapled on. But if you have no other choice, if you're... if you can't get in there just go ahead and glue them on so now I'm doing some deco mesh tubing because I love deco mesh tubing it's just a fun thing to add to a mum and I'm just making three loops nothing fancy cutting that off taking a, sh a Chanel stem and wrapping around there to keep it uh, to hold it in place so they don't come undone just twist it around there a couple of times And then I'm just going to attach that right there. I'm going to glue it on. Sometimes I staple and glue these. But again, I don't want to try to get in there with the stapler. So I'm just gluing it on, holding it in place. And I'm doing an identical one right across from the first one. The first little grouping, whatever you want to call it. Then after that dries, I'm, I'm putting my flower down. So now I'm going to do a little bit different thing with the tubing. I'm running a red Chanel stem. It's a red metallic Chanel stem. Even though this color is like crimson or scarlet, once you run that red through that gold deco mesh, you won't be able to tell that it's red red. So now you can make some different shapes out of this, do different things. I'm going to make some spirals. So those are some of my favorite little designs to do. It's just those fun spirals. And those are needle nose pliers. To me, this is the best way to make the spirals. Just keep wrapping it around. It makes a better spiral for some reason. And you can kind of roll it all the way down if you need to. It just, the, the spiral is tighter when you use the uh, needle nose pliers for some reason. I've tried it both ways. I've tried it with, by hand and like that, and it just works better. So I'm going to make a grouping of two of these and glue them right there between those first two. So I've got the tubing loops across from each other and now I'm going to do the tubing swirls across from each other. So again, north, south, east, and west are a plus sign. And I'm doing two spirals just kind of side by side together. You can flip one around and face each other and they look kind of like a swirly heart. I'll quickly add the ones across from it. So you can see that just gives it a little something different. I just love tubing. I think it just adds a fun element to it. Again, I'm going to add my flower to see how it's looking. You can still see everything. It looks good. It's nice and full. You could still add more stuff if you wanted to. What I'm doing here is adding glue right there to the flower in that hole at the backer because using these ribbon spool ends, it has a bigger hole and that flower can move around. All right, now it's time for the 3D half backer and you will notice that I'm doing something different with this 3D backer than I've done with 
any of the others in the past. So I'm taking this little ribbon spool in, I'm cutting it in half because you just need something small. Now I'm taking some, again, the acetate, luster, whatever you've got. And I think these were about 18 to 20 inches long. It just depends on how long your mum is and how long you want the ribbons on your 3D backer. There's no set size. So usually when I do a half backer, I do just this full grouping of ribbons and then I attach it kind of on the right side of the mum flower. Well, this one I spaced it out. I spaced out the ribbons into three sections. So it's going to cover more of the mum, like almost the whole mum but it's going to be in three small sections so you'll still be able to see all the braids and stuff underneath there it's not going to cover anything up so i'm just clipping ribbons on there and i just keep adding to see what looks good and see how full i want to make it now those ribbons right there that again is that sheer ribbon that metallic gold and what i did was i heat used heat transfer vinyl to do her name and then wildcats and then on his ribbon I just used an acetate ribbon so I just used permanent gold metallic vinyl on his. So I'm going to start now that I know how I want it to look I'm going to start stapling. I start with the first one and then I'm angling this one to the right and then that one to the left because I want them to hang off and see I'm holding it up to see how it's going to look. It's always a good idea to hold up whatever you're working on and see how the ribbons are going to flow, how they're going to lay, how it's going to be worn. It's just, it's really helpful because don't go by how it looks laying flat. Like you see it there on the table when I lay it flat, it looks like those ribbons are so far apart that it would look funny. But once you hold it up, it lays, they're flowing the way I want them to. So just adding each layer of ribbon. These are the same ribbons I used on the backer. We've got the sparkling, we've got the honeycomb, the 7 8 inch acetate. The reason why I'm using the 7 8 and not a 1.3 inch is because I didn't have any in that color. I actually couldn't find it. I believe this color was called first red and you cannot find it anymore. But this year I ordered um, a color called Sinbar, C-I-N-B-A-R. I got it from all American Balloon Company and I was hopeful that it matched pretty well and I wouldn't have to get all new color or all new sizes in that color it matches this almost perfectly so I'm just thinking that they renamed it maybe or, or something I don't know but if you're looking for a scarlet a crimson dark red whatever uh, sin bar is what I would recommend and I don't know if all the mum uh, supply stores have that same color, but if you shop at All American Balloon, that's the color you'd want to look for. And either the acetate or the luster. They don't have as many choices in the luster, which is a cheaper alternative. But So if any colors are available in luster, I buy them in luster, and then I go with the acetate with what, whatever colors I can't get in luster. Okay, what I'm doing now is separating the the petals so I can attach the 3D half backer. You want to make sure that you separate the petals completely from one layer to the other and then I just slide a pair of scissors in there to hold it in place so I you know like a bookmark. Now when you attach your 3D half backer you want to make sure that you push it in as far as it'll go. You want to make sure that backer is completely covered with the petals. So push that in and then what I'm doing is taking a couple of alligator clips and clipping the petals to that half backer so it will stay in place so I can hold it up and see how it's going to look before I start gluing anything. And then if you like where it's at and you know you can start gluing, there's my custom cutout. So again, I want to make sure that that's going to look good before I start gluing anything to the mum head. All right, now I'm going to start gluing and I'm going to start at the top plenty of glue up there on the top you don't want it oozing out but make sure you get quite a bit up there and again I'm pushing it in as far as it'll go and then I'm going to take the petals and push down on the petals and make sure that you've got several layers of petals between you that backer so you don't burn yourself and I just take my hand kind of underneath it and then through those petals on top and just keep pushing to try and secure that. And then you want to flip all those ribbons over and glue the bottom part because you want to glue both sides of that to the petals. You don't want any of that backer showing and you definitely don't want it falling out or sliding out. 
So again, you want to take the petals and just push them up, hold them in place. You're just squeezing. You want to make sure that that hot glue uh, gets cool and, and dries completely before you hold up your mum. Because if you hang it up or something before it's completely dry, it could slide out of the mum flower. So you don't want that. So make sure it's nice and, and dry and secure. I'm just holding it up so you guys can kind of see. See how you can still see all the braids underneath there since I did it in sections. I just wanted to try something a little different. I had two girls from that same school and both of them had 3D half backers. So I did their half backers completely different. So they wouldn't be, you know, their moms wouldn't be looking identical. So I just put a clean backer on there. I'm taking some clips, clipping it all the way around. Uh, that way you don't have to stand there and hold and push down to make sure that your backer is on there securely and make sure that there's no gaps. You know, how I like, I like to have them squeezed tightly together. And then I still needed to add a little bit more hot glue on the top there. Just want to make sure that's in there nice and secure and that everything is covered up that you want covered up. So just keep adding more glue as you need to. And press on those petals. I'm going to attach this custom cutout. It's in three layers. Uh, you can get scarlet um, at Hobby Lobby, white glitter, and then gold glitter. That gold glitter is actually from Michaels. It's got like a, a kind of a little bit of a holographic look to it as well. It's a different gold glitter than what you can get at most stores. It's really, really pretty. Now I like to take some scissors or a stapler or, you know, a few things like that to kind of weigh it down let that hot glue cool down some before you start sticking your hands under the petals and risk burning yourself. Okay, it's set for a few minutes or a few seconds. Uh, not minutes, probably just probably like 30 seconds. Now I start putting my fingers under there and start pressing on the petals to make sure it's nice and secure. I mean, the hot glue is probably still warm at this point. So I can still, you know, push down on the petals and get it on there nice and secure, but definitely don't do that while it's still hot. And I'm adding some more bling. I actually, at the end, I added some small little cheer bows on the top of each of those ribbons on the 3D half backer. And then I also made another small custom cutout with her number. I think it was like number 13 or something. It's on the very first picture if you want to re rewind back and look at that thumbnail picture. Please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to tap that bell because that will give you notifications on my uploads, live streams, and premieres. Happy mum making and happy crafting everyone. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel right here. Here is one of my latest uploads. Please check that out. Here is a playlist with lots of great videos and right here is one more video you might enjoy.